game. Uh, Drake Jackson uh, ended up having just a stinger. Um, Dante Johnson has um, ribs, um, cartilage fracture. He'll be week to week. Um, Daniel Brunskill had a hamstring strain. He'll be, he'll be out a few weeks. Um, Danny Gray, just some hip and back soreness. We'll keep him out the next couple of days. Should be good when we get to Minnesota. Uh, McGlinchey, um, he ended up irritating the, the inside of his knee. The, the good news was his surgical repair and all the stuff he did this offseason was good, but he had some slight irritation in his knee, so we're going to have to be smart with him this week. Uh, I'll be surprised if he does anything in Minnesota. Um, Curtis Robinson had a groin strain. Uh, he'll miss most likely this week. Um, and hopefully we'll get Mosley um, and Ridgeway back in practice soon um, in the next couple of days or by Minnesota. That's about it. Go ahead, guys. What, uh, Kyle, what was Ridgeway's injury? Um, Ridgeway had a quad strain uh, the first week of practice. Okay, so the, the day after, when you look at the film, uh, what did you think about Trey's decision making and, and how he executed what you wanted him to do? Um, pretty similar to, um, I think, what I said last night. You know, he did a good job, didn't have any bad plays, was consistent in what he did, and uh, it was a good first outing for him. How about, uh, Kyle, how about your guards, specifically uh, Banks and uh, uh, and your Burford, how they looked, and, and what you want to see out of them in Minnesota? Um, we we got to see why they're in the position that they are, having the opportunity to be our starters. Uh, it was good to play them a, a bunch because they both need it. Uh, we kept Burford in there a little longer because he's a little less experienced, and um, you know they, they need these three games. But I thought they showed out there why we believe in them, and um, they were real excited about them. Um, hopefully they'll get better each week here up to week one. Kyle, after looking at the tape, what did you see from Sam Womack out there? Um, it, I mean, we felt him out there with those picks and stuff, and I thought he did a real good job in his coverage, too. I mean, his pick over the middle I thought was the best, um, just the coverage that he had on it. The second one, um, just for him to keep fighting and be able to come down with that, or I think that was the first one. Uh, but he had a good first outing, so we've got to clean some stuff up and continue um, improving in the run game and some pass game stuff. But um, he had a good first day. Well, so it seemed to take a little while for your run game to get going. What did you see from your running backs who were out there last night? Uh, Trey Servan said he's seeing holes a little bit better, but it, he didn't get going quite well. Yeah, I was I was real happy with Trey. Um, there was things that we wanted him to prove on from last year. He's shown that in training camp um, every single day that he's got the opportunity to, and I thought he did the same thing last night. Uh, I didn't think he had any really good looks that he should have got more on, um, but he didn't hesitate. He hit the hole hard, and uh, I thought he did a real good job with his opportunities. And um, besides that, the rest of the stuff we got to clean some stuff up. We had a few guys off here and there, and um, a couple mistakes. But um, overall, I thought the guys did a decent job. Kyle, how how is Eric Armstead coming along in his return from that injury? Uh, he's coming along. You know, I I bet you he could go. I bet you he'd be all right this week if we really wanted to push it. Um, we'll watch him here the next couple of days and. You know, I think we're a little more hesitant to, for his first practices back to be against other other team, um, to be against Minnesota. So odds are we'll wait on him, but uh, he's doing a good job. Kyle, what is your plan heading into Minnesota? You talked about balancing travel and the number of games you have in the next couple weeks. So what is your plan for practice in these next two days? Um I mean, we got a number of guys who haven't really practiced since Wednesday. You know, we just did a walkthrough Thursday, and a number of guys didn't play in that game Friday. Um, so we really want to generate a practice tomorrow. Uh, however, a um, few guys got hurt in the game. So uh, when you have starters who didn't play in that game, but then the, the backups went in and played a lot, and some are a little banged up, it, it makes it a little tough. For We can't really accomplish everything we want to do, but we're going to sit here, see how the guys are when they come in tomorrow. We'll tally up all their reps. and. Uh, we'll try to generate a, some type of practice for the guys who haven't gotten in a little bit. Kyle, why is, uh, all due respect to Robbie Gold, but why is he doing kickoffs instead of Wisnowski? 
Uh, we, we went that direction last year, and we thought he did a much better job with it. You know, I think it, it allowed Mitch's leg to stay fresh all year. Um, you know, we thought just asking him to do that took a little bit from him and just warmed down a little bit on his punts as the year went. Um, so we asked Robbie to take on that challenge last year, and he did a really good job with it to where um, we felt it, it didn't take back from anything, and it also helped Mitch um, do better in the punt game. And, and speaking of special teams, well, what happened on that Jamichael Hasty play? Did he not know the rule, or did he just have a, a whatever? Did he just not think about it at the time? No, I just I, I think there's a fine line that you want to. People are, yeah, it doesn't look great, but there's 11 guys sprinting down at you. That ball is right there on the sideline. Hell yeah, you want it to bounce out of bounds. Um, so we get a much bigger gain, or you want him to get out of bounds and touch the ball from there um, so we can get that. But the fear is always that it ends up staying in bounds, and you hesitate a little bit on it, and then those guys show up a lot quicker than you're anticipating. So obviously you'd like to have it over, um, but he just, I think, was too unsure if it was going to go out or not. Anything else? All right, thanks, guys. All right, guys.